Hi there everyone. Uh, before we get started, please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications down there, click the bell icon. Um, it just keeps you up to date with everything and allow it on your device, whatever you're using. Make sure that you've got it registered, the notifications can come through, otherwise you don't get them coming. Also, please comment downstairs if you want any specific species done that we haven't, put it down there, we'll get to it as soon as we can, or any video suggestions, things like that, put them down there, we'll get to them. So, back to the show. Today we're going to be talking about your green jobfish. Now, jobfish, there are a few of them. Uh, the green jobfish is kind of probably the most common of all the jobfish. They a the scientific name is Aprion viricet. He's a torpedo-shaped fish with a very large tail, nice big, big head. Uh, the Afrikaans name is uh, uh, Kalkop or Kalkop, but the Kalkop comes from the fact that he doesn't have scales here in between his eyes. If you look very carefully, it's actually uh, just skin over there. Color-wise, they, they're sort of a greeny, bluey color overall with a white stomach. They get to about about a meter, meter one, meter two thereabouts and about 16 kilos that's the official registered obviously you are going to get unreported or unsubstantiated cases of bigger fish and whatnot otherwise in terms of uh, shape and size and things like that they've got uh, conical teeth in their mouth all the way around um, very strong powerful jaws and a large eye for their size now that's they they predators on the reef they live on rocky and coral reefs and they they hunt prodigiously on fish and squid those teeth obviously for incapacitating their, their prey and the very strong jaws to, to clamp and knock them, knock them out. They're quite, they, it's, it's a difficult species to describe between whether it's, there's always debate whether it's a reef fish or whether it's a pelagic species. Now, most, most of the time they actually, certain government entities and uh, powers that be have classed them as certain groups so that they can get away with it. They used to be classed as a game fish so that you could still target them in places like Sudwana, but now they've actually been reclassed as reef fish, but it's all over the place. Anyway. That's a bit of a rant on the side. In terms of where you're going to find them, East London is the the bottom bottom limit. Although you're very very unlikely to find them sort of south of Durban, really. I mean, you don't really get much cases down there. And then obviously all the way up tropical Mozambique that side. Your targeting methods and things like that are going to be mainly live bait. They're very good at live bait. If you want to do stuff like chunking, it actually works very well for them. Um, and then lures work incredibly well for them. So whether you're trawling uh, lip lures or whether you're throwing spoons at reefs and things like that, it will work very well offshore. There are a couple of places you can catch them from the shore themselves. Black Rock um, up near Cozy is probably one of your best spots for that. And then any sort of large fleshy bait is going to be, be good for them. If you could get a live bait out there, even better. But yeah, it's a large fleshy bait is generally your best. And most of the time you really have to get your baits very, very far. So all the inshore reef patches and things like that have generally been wiped out of them. So you're looking at those deeper reefs, getting casts of 200 meters, you know, so wading in 50, getting 150 meter throw, which is really where the new grinder um, revolution has come in. So you're gonna to want to be using your, probably your Elite Heavy, your a good seven ounce sinker, something that's nice and streamlined, your 8,000 size reel, probably going to be your best bet so whatever your budget sits there on the Daiwa 8000s and I'd probably go down to 30 pound braid just to give you that extra little little look. so yeah those smaller baits uh, circle looks obviously very good in terms of schooling patterns and stuff like that they're generally solitary or in small groups and yeah they, they're beautiful fish they're very inquisitive uh, they're very popular with the spear fishermen and how they target them is they'll go down to the bottom and they'll actually scratch on the reef and get a bit of sand going up in the air and the, the jobbies come in and, and have a look at what's happening there. So that might be from, I don't know, if, if some other organism or bigger fish or even one of the marine uh, mammals is feeding on the bottom, they'll come in and see what's getting kicked up and stirred up and obviously attack that. So yeah, the green jobfish, voracious predator, um, very strong fighting fish and very good eating as I hear. Good job. They are beautiful fish and I recommend you put them back. So I've got a bit of a soft spot for them. Yeah. Green job fish. Cheers guys.